Welcome back to Aliens, my name is David Vetti and let's continue with the series on Python. Now in the last video we have talked about OOP's concept, right? We have seen what is object and a class. Let's explore it more. Now if you remember, when we talked about objects, object will be having two stuff, right? One is it will be having some attributes and it will also have a behavior. Now when you say attributes, those are variables, right? We can create variables. And the behavior is your methods. And then methods are almost same as functions, but in oops, we call them as methods, right? Now here, we have to work with methods, right? We have not worked with variables yet. So what I will do is just to demonstrate that, let me just remove this thing here, because we know that we can call config using the object itself, or we can call it with the help of class by passing the object. Now, syntactically, we normally go for the second one, which is calling the method as a, from the object. It makes much more sense, right? So we'll remove that part. And so once we got the object, let's remove this A as well, just to clean it up stuff here. Now what I will do is, I want to have certain variables. Now when I say variables, what I want to do is, I want to have two variables, one which defines the type of CPU I'm working with and the amount of RAM I have. Example, if you talk about any computer, these two are very important, right? The CPU which you are using and a RAM, maybe 8 GB RAM or 16 GB RAM. And in terms of CPU, we have, let's say, i3, i5, i7, or maybe some AMD series. Okay, we have different parameters as well, but just to keep it simple, let's only focus on two things, CPU and RAM capacity. Now when you say we have two variables, where to define that? So we can use a special method which is available in a class. Now when I say special, you know, right? So the moment you say special, we have talked about special variable which is underscore underscore name. In the same way, we have special method which is int. And when I say special, it will be having underscores as well. So let's define that. So we'll say def underscore underscore in it. You can see that we are getting suggestions as well. And the moment I say enter, you can see we have the function name or the method name as in it and we are passing self. Now see, self is not something which I'm typing that is coming automatically. So it's compulsory to have those argument, okay, which is self. And in, in here we can do something. Normally we use init to initialize the variables, okay? And that's what the name itself, init initialize, right? Now if you are coming from C, C++ or Java background, we use constructor, right? So you can imagine this is our constructor, but then it is init method. Uh, the advantage here is normally, see, if you want to work with config, you are supposed to call config, okay? So it's compulsory for you to call config. Otherwise, it will not get executed. The idea behind init is it will be getting called automatically. Example, if I go back here and let's say I want to print something and I will print in init. So you can see I have defined a function called as init and not calling it. Okay, so anywhere in the code, I'm not calling init. I'm calling config because I want to execute it. The moment I run this code, you can see it prints in init. And that too, it prints two times. Now, why two times? Because for every object, it will get called once. So you can see in total, I'm getting two objects. One is com1, one the second is com2. So we got two objects and it will call in it two times. So this is the object creation. So when you say computer bracket, it will instantiate, it will call in it for you. Now I want to pass some arguments, okay? Uh, I want to pass CPU and RAM. So in the constructor itself, you can pass that. So in the computer bracket itself, you can pass it. So I can say I have a CPU here, which is let's say i5, and the amount of RAM we have is 16 GB. The second computer we have, let's say, Ryzen 3, and the amount of RAM we have, let's say, 8 GB. So we have two computers with two different CPUs, right? And now, how to accept these values? So of course, you have to pass these values here, right? So you have to say self, comma, you have to pass two values. You have to accept these two values. So you have to say CPU comma RAM. Okay, that's how you accept it. Now I know your question. Your question is, we are passing two parameters, right? Or we are passing two arguments. One is CPU and second is RAM. And we are accepting the arguments here. So the thing is, you are actually passing three arguments here. Remember, we are also passing comp1. The moment you say computer in the bracket, you are passing that comp1 by default. The same thing happened with config, right? When we call config, we are not passing self or the object itself, but it gets passed automatically the same way when you say computer by passing two parameters, you're actually passing three. The first one is the object itself, the second one, the value, the first value here, and then RAM. Okay, that makes sense, but will it work? So the thing is, every object need to have a value because this is just an argument now. So CPU and RAM is just an argument. If you want it to be a part of your object, you need to say, because see, we have to assign this value to an object, right? And the object here is self, right? So we have to say self dot. That's right, right? So this comp one, this is our object, right? So we have to say self dot CPU is equal to CPU. Again, there's no compulsion that you should be having same name. You can have a different name, that's fine. 
So you will say self dot RAM is equal to RAM. So whatever value you are passing here, which is i5 goes to the CPU as an argument, it will be assigned to the object, which is self. So the self, you can imagine now, so in the background, you can see we have two objects here. So we, in total, we got two objects. Each object will have its own variables, okay? It will have its own CPU, it will have its own RAM. And then whatever value you pass in the arguments, it will be assigned to those objects, okay? So we have two objects, two different values. And now in the config, instead of printing this stuff, I will say, CPU comma RAM. That's what we do. Oh, we got an error. What's wrong here? So the thing is, this CPU is not a local variable, right? The CPU belongs to an object. And how do we refer to object? It's very simple. You have to use self, right? That's why you are passing it. So you have to say self dot CPU. And here as well, you have to say self dot RAM. And that's the idea behind passing this self, right? We are passing self so that you can use it to fetch the values. So you can imagine your methods and your data works together. And we have a name for this concept. Again, we'll talk about that name later, it's a surprise. But we are binding our data with every method. So one object will have its own methods and its own variables, right? So they are working together. And now let's run this code and let's see what happens. So the moment you run this code, you can see it says config is i5.16 and config is raisin3.8. So that's the idea. That's how you create a variable. So every object will have its own values. That's amazing. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section because we had worked with data and we have also seen this init method. We'll talk more about it. In fact, the, we'll be having a long series only on Oops. So let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and do subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet. So that's it everyone. Bye-bye.